guys, I'm Ariella Torin, and today we're at the Youth Job Center in Evanston. It's a nonprofit that's geared toward helping youth find success in the workplace. I'm here with Cicela Smith, who's the Executive Director of the Youth Job Center here in Evanston. Um, she's going to share with us a little bit about the history of this nonprofit and the services that they provide to the people who seek their assistance. The Youth Job Center was established in 1983 to provide um, job placement and training services for youth between the ages of 14 to 25. This year we celebrated our 30 year anniversary and we're really excited about that. We've placed um, more than 20,000 young people throughout our 30 year history and our services include a pretty comprehensive service delivery model that is designed to aid each young person throughout the employment process. So from the beginning intake and assessment through job counseling and skills building and training to direct job placement, linkages to continuing education. And then once youth are placed in positions, um, we provide post-employment follow-up support for up to two years. All career counselors meet individually with each participant that come through our doors, and so they are assessed, given an aptitude test, as well as a skills and ability um, assessment test. And we really try to match um, our young job seekers with those positions or those businesses where they have an interest. Do you offer any type of training in terms of resume building or um, interview practice skills, that type of thing? Well, we do actually. Um, currently, for our um, out of school population, the 18 to 25 girls, for all new um, participants, we provide a 12 day job readiness training program where they um, participate in workshops that cover the whole um, gamut of employment skills. So whether it's um, resume building, application, um, how to complete successfully complete an online application, um, conflict resolution, workplace ethic, professionalism, um, as well as um, the technical side of um, introduction to Microsoft Word and how to um, the importance of um, building your brand and um, we have a really good workshop called the do's and don'ts of social media <laughs> the workplace that's always a, a fun workshop <laughs> and so for 12 days um, and it also gives um, uh, the trainer and the career advisors to get a sense of what the job seekers level of employability is um, from the point of intake and where there um, are still needs for improvement or areas for continuing development in terms of job skills. In the short time we've been here, I've seen two people already walk in, you know, say, hey, I'm ready for a summer job, you know, sign me up, what, what, what do I need to do? Um, can you tell me maybe on a, any given week, how many people walk through your door? This is typically our busiest season of the year, so from May through August, it's extremely busy. So um, given a week, we probably see about 60 to 65 people per week during the summer. For people interested in working with you guys, do they have to be residents of Evanston? No, although we are physically located in Evanston, we serve any young person that wants to access our services. So we have participants that come to the center from Niles, Skokie, um, Main Township, and we have um, kids that come from Chicago to seek services and to apply for a job. Okay, so there you have it. Thank you so much for sitting down with us. I know, as you mentioned, this is the busiest time, but if you're in the need of a job and you, you know, would like some assistance, the Youth Job Center is available and more than willing to help you out. Thank you. Thank you. After talking to Cicela Smith, I met Cynthia Anglin. She's a trainer here at Youth Job Center and invited us on a tour of their facility.
Well, this is our point of entry. All of our clients come here first. Then we have an extra station and this is a satellite section where we have staff and they'll come and they'll use this time to do counseling sessions to allow the clients as well to participate in our computer activities with the training and when they have to get certification for their internships. And then we have one of our offices and all of the counselors meet with their clients in their office. We also sometimes will flow over into the conference area depending on the type of work that we need to do with the client or we'll go into the computer lab which is our next stop. Welcome to our Computer Technology Center. We have 17 computers here and we also have one that staff could use. We do training here for our job readiness students and we also open it up to the community in the afternoon. We also do training for those that are doing internships and they're doing specialized trainings and tests and assessments on these systems. We open the lab up to the community because there's a need to share technology and the um, availability of equipment and so they have a place to go to other than the library. Well, that wraps it up with our tour of the Youth Job Center in Evanston. I'm Ariella Torrent. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to find out who's on my list at .org.